the reasons I started baking was because I couldn't find any bread in the beginning of the quarantine. So I was like, where am I gonna get fresh bread? And I don't like to buy the prepackaged toast or anything like that. I like to have like fresh loaves. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out making it myself. Before the pandemic, I was, I was working in production. Um, mainly on in fashion in the fashion industry when the lockdown happened production shut down completely so we were just at home you know I was very scared to go outside I had uh, suffered cancer a few years back so my immune system is more on the compromised side so I added the three types of flowers to this um, the natural yeast the um, salt and then yeah, I combined it, let it rest for a little while. So now I'm gonna do the stretch and fold, which is really important to give strength to the to the dough. Oh. And it gets heavier and heavier the more you roll it. I guess when I actually taught myself how to make sourdough bread, I started to feel something, and this might be strange, but like anytime I would shape the dough, I was like, I really liked it. I was like, this is so much fun. I was super like obsessed with the dough. And when the, the sour dough started would grow, I would get really excited. Like there was this real special connection. This dough is very high maintenance. <laughs> yeah, they're like my little babies. I was giving it away at first, and then people were actually like texting me, do you have bread, do you have bread? And then they started to pay for it. So then I would get actual orders and like some people would be like, I want five loaves, you know, and they would give it to their friends. This is my favorite part. I like to cut the middle and see how well the loaf turned out. All right, let's see the big surprise. Yes. Yes. I work really hard to make, you know, the outside crispy, the moist and not too, too dense. And then recently I started, for some customers, they were asking about like making just 100% rye things, so you try it. It's like superfood. As long as I always get to eat bread, it'll be a family business. You know, she made a point. She's like, bread isn't supposed to, in America, you buy a loaf of bread, it could be a month later and it's still exactly the same. And why does it have so many ingredients, you know? They smell so good. There's been a war on bread in America for the last couple decades where people blame it for all of their dietary ills. So they've been cutting it out or making excuses. Or I mean, there are people with gluten intolerances, but Everybody thinks they're gluten intolerant now, so bread pays the price. I want to bring healthy bread to neighborhoods, you know? That's the big goal here for me. When I discovered I have a passion for bread making and a passion for bringing healthy food to, to people. Like I had so many people message me and say, how come your bread is so well digestible? Like, how come I'm not bloated? Like, I'm like, well, the reason is I'm using simple ingredients and natural yeast. It's nutritious. It should be healthy. It's, it's bread. Well, you have a giant pot. There we go. Oh, that's a big piece. Thank you. <laughs> 